and they're being followed by Cinder Rua as they come now to make the run out over this flight and head now for the home straight. And in the lead now as they begin to race off the bend on the inside, Shauna's dream from Bonnie Kate, all you need, Molly Connors, Tia Lena is beginning to stay on well now towards the outside. Off the bend now and heading for home, Bonnie Kate coming back at Shauna's dream. Molly Connors, all you need, Tia Lena. And then from the back, Golden Road is putting in a late bid. They're racing now towards the final flight. And Bonnie Kate, just the leader from all you need on the inside, Tia Lena. Golden Road towards the near side at the final flight now. And Golden Road got a brilliant jump for Davy Russell and lands running away from Tia Lena. Putting in a late bid is Crystal Air, well, Crystal Pearl, but up to the finish. Golden Road and Davy Russell, three lengths clear on the near side. Crystal Pearl had probably just snatched the second from Tia Lena. All you need is fourth. And then came Molly Connors clear of Bunny Kate. And they're being followed by Cinder Rua as they come now to make the run out over this flight and head now for the home straight. And in the lead now as they begin to race off the bend on the inside, Shauna's dream from Bonnie Kate, all you need, Molly Connors, Tia Lena is beginning to stay on well now towards the outside. Off the bend now and heading for home, Bonnie Kate coming back at Shauna's dream. Molly Connors, all you need, Tia Lena. And then from the back, Golden Road is putting in a late bid. They're racing now towards the final flight. And Bonnie Kate, just the leader from all you need on the inside, Tia Lena. Golden Road towards the near side at the final flight now. And Golden Road got a brilliant jump for Davy Russell. And and lands running away from Tia Lena, putting in a late bid is Crystal Air, well, Crystal Pearl, but up to the finish. Golden Road and Davy Russell, three lengths clear on the near side. Crystal Pearl had probably just snatched the second from Tia Lena. All you need is fourth. And then came Molly Connors clear of Bonnie Case. Fletcher leads now off the turn to race for the final flight. Salsa Sensation is second. Heck Thomas is third and Angus Milan towards the outside. Then comes Rock on Fruity as they race now towards the final flight. It is Fletcher the leader from Salsa Sensation. On the inside is Heck Thomas. Angus Milan towards the outside. Coming down now to the final flight and it's Fletcher and Davy Russell at the final flight out cleared of Heck Thomas. And in third is Salsa Sensation but up towards the finish it's Fletcher and Davy Russell is going to have an opening double here as Fletcher goes right away to win by a good eight lengths from in second place Heck Thomas in third is Salsa Sensation. They're followed in in fourth place by Rock on Fruity and Abraham's Blessing. Fletcher leads now off the turn to race for the final flight. Salsa Sensation is second. Heck Thomas is third and Angus Milan towards the outside. Then comes Rock on Fruity as they race now towards the final flight. It is Fletcher the leader from Salsa Sensation. On the inside is Heck Thomas. Angus Milan towards the outside. Coming down now to the final flight and it's Fletcher and Davy Russell at the final flight out cleared of Heck Thomas. And in third is Salsa Sensation but up towards the finish it's Fletcher and Davy Russell is going to have an opening double here as Fletcher goes right away to win by a good eight lengths from in second place Heck Thomas in third is Salsa Sensation. They're followed in in fourth place by Rock on Fruity and Abraham's Blessing. Two to jump. Vator from Real Steel, just over a length between them. They're beginning the run now for the home turn with a good run towards the final fence in the Leperstown Kalini Novice. And it is Vator the leader by two lengths to Real Steel, who Brian Cooper now beginning to push along to try and close as Vator travels smoothly in the lead for Ruby Walsh down towards the final fence. And coming to the last in the Leperstown Kalini, Vator and Ruby Walsh out three clear of in second Real Steel and at the final fence that tour is over and Real Steel is gone. Real Steel down at the last and that leaves that tour to come home alone. Real Steel is up. Aladdin's Cave is coming on now to the last and he jumps it as that tour passes the post. A distance winner eased down by Ruby Walsh and Aladdin's Cave will come through now. The rank outsider, the 100 to 1 shot is going to fill the second spot 
as Vator won by a wide, wide margin, and Aladdin's Cave now coming home to take the second place in the Leopardstown Kalini Novice. Two to jump. Vator from Real Steel, just over a length between them. They're beginning the run now for the home turn with a good run towards the final fence in the Leperstown Kalini Novice. And it is Vator the leader by two lengths to Real Steel, who Brian Cooper now beginning to push along to try and close as Vator travels smoothly in the lead for Ruby Walsh down towards the final fence. And coming to the last in the Leperstown Kalini, Vator and Ruby Walsh out three clear of in second Real Steel and at the final fence that tour is over and Real Steel is gone. Real Steel down at the last and that leaves that tour to come home alone. Real Steel is up. Aladdin's Cave is coming on now to the last and he jumps it as that tour passes the post. A distance winner eased down by Ruby Walsh and Aladdin's Cave will come through now. The rank outsider, the 100 to 1 shot is going to fill the second spot as Vator won by a wide, wide margin and Aladdin's Cave. And in the lead, is Fever Pitch from Fox Rock, and they're being followed by Arlie Babe, improving on the inside. Dagora is just behind them as they begin the run now for the turn into the straight with one fence left to jump. Fever Pitch from Fox Rock and Barley Babe just behind. Heaney and Dagora come next. Follow me up to Carlo and Ratlin. Off the turn now and beginning to make the run towards the final fence. And it is Fox Rock and Adrian Heskin coming to challenge Fever Pitch, Barley Babe and Tony McCoy and Heaney Andrew Lynch towards the outside of Follow Me Up to Carlo at the final fence now. Over in front, Fox Rock lands just in the lead from Barley Babe. They're being followed by Heaney and Follow Me Up to Carlo. But it is Fox Rock now who's beginning to dig deep and race up towards the finish. And Fox Rock is going to atone for his narrow defeat in the Paddy Power, striding away for Adrian Heskin to win for Barry Connell and Ted Walsh. Close second, Heaney on the far side of Barley Babe. And Follow Me Up to Carlo is in fourth place and Barry Geraghty appeared to be up, but is being attended to. And in the lead is Fever Pitch from Fox Rock, and they're being followed by Arlie Babe, improving on the inside. Dagora is just behind them as they begin the run now for the turn into the straight with one fence left to jump. Fever Pitch from Fox Rock and Barley Babe just behind. Heaney and Dagora come next. Follow me up to Carlo and Ratlin. Off the turn now and beginning to make the run towards the final fence. And it is Fox Rock and Adrian Heskin coming to challenge Fever Pitch, Barley Babe and Tony McCoy and Heaney Andrew Lynch towards the outside of Follow Me Up to Carlo at the final fence now. Over in front, Fox Rock lands just in the lead from Barley Babe. They're being followed by Heaney and Follow Me Up to Carlo. But it is Fox Rock now who's beginning to dig deep and race up towards the finish. And Fox Rock is going to atone for his narrow defeat in the Paddy Power, striding away for Adrian Heskin to win for Barry Connell and Ted Walsh. Close second, Heaney on the far side of Barley Babe. And Follow Me Up to Carlo is in fourth place and Barry Geraghty appeared to be up, but is being attended to. They're being followed by Snake Eyes, Shadow Catcher is next. They're being followed by Fort Smith, pair of brown eyes and pink coat on the run for the home turn now. And Modem has taken up the running and leads from Savello. KTT on their heels turning in in third. And they're being followed by Lucky Bridal, Snake Eyes, pair of brown eyes making ground the outside. And they're being followed by Fort Smith on the run to the final flight. And it's Modem and Robbie Power in the lead. Here comes KDT and Brian Hughes with a challenge towards the near side. In third place comes Savello, then Fort Smith, pair of brown eyes, and KDT sweeps to the front of the final flight in the Boyle Sports. KDT is over in the lead from Modem now, who's trying to come back on the inside. They're well cleared of Savello on the run up towards the finish. It's KDT and Brian Hughes stretching on now to win the Boyle Sports for Kevin Prendergast. KDT in good style. 
wins from second home road and Ted Veal has come through, gets the third, Savello Pink Coat next and they're being followed in by Draco, pair of brown eyes and Fort Smith. They're being followed by Snake Eyes, Shadow Catcher is next. They're being followed by Fort Smith, pair of brown eyes and pink coat on the run for the home turn now. And Modem has taken up the running and leads from Savello. KDT on their heels turning in in third. And they're being followed by Lucky Bridal, Snake Eyes, pair of brown eyes making ground the outside. And they're being followed by Fort Smith on the run to the final flight. And it's Modem and Robbie Power in the lead. Here comes KDT and Brian Hughes with a challenge towards the near side. In third place comes Savello, then fourth Smith, pair of brown eyes, and KDT sweeps to the front of the final flight in the Boyle Sports. KDT is over in the lead from Modem now, who's trying to come back on the inside. They're well cleared of Savello on the run up towards the finish. It's KDT and Brian Hughes stretching on now to win the Boyle Sports for Kevin Prendergast. KDT in good style wins from second home road, and Ted Veal has come through, gets the third, Savello pink coat next, and they're being followed in by Draco, pair of brown eyes, and Fort Smith. Go Darcy Go has made ground as they come now to jump the second last and Dom Locker lands in the lead from mine now. Archie Mead making steady ground in between horses and then comes Forever Gold. My door is after the leading four in fifth place and then owner Curra Milan and Grand Partner. So they're on the run for the final flight now and it's Dom Locker the leader from Archie Mead and My door towards the near side. Forever Gold is next and then Grand Partner down now to the final flight and it's my my door coming to tackle Archie Mead, Forever Gold on the far side with Dom Luck and Grand Partner over the last. Archie Mead gets away from it, just fractionally ahead, but My Door coming right back now for Ruby Walsh inside the last 150 yards, and it's My Door very cheekily going to score. My Door wins for Ruby Walsh, second is Archie Mead, Forever Gold is third, and Grand Partner four, and they're well clear of Dom Lucker. Go Darcy Go has made ground as they come now to jump the second last and Dom Locker lands in the lead from mine now. Archie Mead making steady ground in between horses and then comes Forever Gold. My door is after the leading four in fifth place and then owner Curra Milan and Grand Partner. So they're on the run for the final flight now and it's Dom Locker the leader from Archie Mead and my door towards the near side. Forever Gold is next and then Grand Partner down now to the final flight and it's my door coming to tackle Archie Mead. Forever Gold on the far side with Dom Locker and Grand Partner over the last. Archie Mead gets away from it just fractionally ahead but my door coming right back now for Ruby Walsh inside the last 150 yards and it's my door very cheekily going to score. My door wins for Ruby Walsh. Second is Archie Mead. Forever Gold is third and Grand Partner four and they're well clear of Dom Locker. Racing for the home turn, and in the lead is Balco de Flos from Jet, making ground on the inside of Ali Motto, and then B My C, as they race now towards the final furlong. In the lead is Balco de Flos from Jet in second. They've quickly gone away from Ali Motto, and B My C, as they race up to the final 200 yards. Balco de Flos, the leader, from in second place, Jet, as they race inside the last 100 yards. It's an all the way victory now for. Balco de Flos and Patrick Mullins from Jet still trying hard in second, but there's two and a half to three between them as Balco de Flos will win the last from Jet second. A break then to BMIC, who's third, Ali Motto is fourth. Racing for the home turn, and in the lead is Balco de Flos from Jet making ground on the inside of Ali Motto, and then B My C, as they race now towards the final furlong. In the lead is Balco de Flos from Jet in second. They've quickly gone away from Ali Motto, and B My C, as they race up to the final 200 yards. Balco de Flos, the leader, from in second place, Jet, as they race inside the last 100 yards. It's an all-the-way victory now for Balco de Flos and Patrick Mullins from Jet, still trying hard in second. But there's two and a half to three between them as Balco de Flos will win the last from Jet second. A break then to B. My C, who's third. Ali Motto is fourth. 